What up, people? It's your boy, Stealth Jet, back at it once again. And I am here to bring you all some more gameplay. Now, at the time of this release, it should be a Saturday. I say should because I might move this video around. I don't know just yet. But if it is on a Saturday, do me a favor and subscribe to this YouTube channel right here. Because if, in case you didn't know, I streamed this game. And I stream it on that their YouTube channel. So do me a favor, search up that in the YouTube search bar, or go to the comment section and you'll more than likely see a comment by yours truly. Click on that link and hit the sub button. Therefore, you'll be notified of when I'm going live. But when am I going live? Honestly, I probably already went live because I have a really bad habit of going live stupid early. Like, 11 a.m. ET early? That's why I'm telling you. Sub to the channel so you can be notified of when, I, of when I do go live. You feel me? Cool. Oh, look, it's Valley during the day. A very beautiful map. Very beautiful. Also, deadly. Hey, I didn't say it was deadly for me. I just said it was deadly. Now, the crazy thing is, the crazy thing is, I heard him, then he pinged me. And you know he pinged me because he has two ports on him. Or had two ports. Now he has just one. Obviously, he used one to, you know, find me. But it's kind of a, a wild card kind of move when you have a port and you have no gun. It's kind of like asking where the hoe's at, but you don't want to talk to him. You know what I'm saying? Maybe that was a bit too uh, rough to say, but I'm going to keep this in the video because that's literally how I feel. But, yeah. We're going to move forward into the map, or deeper into the map. And I'm not going to lie to you. I'm going to chop this one up. So I approached this first comm station and stubbed my foot on that freaking barrel. Radiation. Cool. You heard those gunshots? Yeah, I did too. And I'm actually on the way up there to investigate. But first, you know me, I plan for the future. I'm going to put overweight on the airdrop. Which now means homeboy who grabs said airdrop is more than likely going to die. But I did hear, and you also heard, some exchange of fire up here. And that's kind of odd, because the entire time I'm running up here, guess what is not going to happen? Someone using the detector. And if you're wondering why I turned around right there, it's because I analyzed the whole situation and I said to myself, I'm about to go up there into a forest, surrounded by trees, bushes alike, where the detector is, knowing damn well I heard two different kind of guns, which means there are two different kind of people up there one of which survived and probably is prone in a bush. I could do the opposite thing and come here to the center of town, or at least near the town, and be nearby in case anybody does anything relatively uh, risky. You know, a loot event. So I'm going to linger here in the town and see what's up. Y'all didn't see it, y'all didn't hear it, 
but I did throw down a radiation grenade. You know how I do things. But yeah, it's been quite a minute since we heard anything at all. And I'm not talking about in this video. I mean, while I was playing the game, not a single sound has happened. Now, what's the best way to encourage some sound? Well, you can do spooky stuff like this, like place down some glint and hope somebody shoots at it, and then do this. What a odd spot to be in. But we know roughly where he's at. And he's on the same side as the safe and the other safe. Which is quite which is kind of funny to say out loud. But we roughly know where he's at. Let's see if we can find him. Alrighty, now we're near where he's at. Or where he was detected at, rather. And I'm gonna peep over this here ledge and find an open door. And correct me if I'm wrong here, but I think I detected him while he was inside that market. That's what I'm thinking. But wait a minute. See that white house right there? The door is open on that house too. And this is a bit of a crime scene investigation coming in here. The door is open toward the inside. Which means he's running parallel to how I was running just now. That gives me a bit of hope. What I'm saying is he might either be A, in the time safe, B, going for the barred house and it's just waiting me out, or C, running in this general direction. Because look, I had attended him in that market and it seems like the door is pointing toward him going in the direction I'm heading right now. Which is why I'm down here in this general area. Just in case he does anything like, you know, try to use a button or go for the safe. Also, the airdrop is not that far from me either. But at the same time, too, he's going to die based off of radiation and not by my bullet if he goes for the airdrop. Where is he at? I waited a good long time to see what he was going to do. And I'm going to wait an even longer time to see what he's going to do. I'm up here. And I'm not watching the ground. I'm watching these houses. To see if a door opens. And lo and behold. Not a single door opens. We get a running start. Make this leap of faith. Stick the landing. And I'm about to leave. You see. Valley. Is a really pretty map during the daytime. And it's also really quiet. But if you don't believe me when I tell you this right here, go a bit further back in my videos and, it'll, and I'll prove it to you. If you think daytime valley is quiet, try nighttime. I dare you to go back in my uploads and find a, an encounter at night on valley and see how quiet it gets. I dare you. But this was a bit different of a uh, editing style. It's kind of like my DMZ videos. So if you like this, you know, this little editing style that I have right here, let me know. Like the video, leave a comment, whatever your fancy is. And I appreciate it. I'll see you next time. Peace.